Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, got a little bit of something we want to talk about, okay? We're going to talk about pedestals, okay? Y'all don't mind? Got a little bit of Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I'm kidding. Justin Bieber and Mr. Sean Mendez. And they're talking about pedestals. Listen. Hey, like I said, they're talking about pedestals. Short of breath, y'all. Up into the sky. Filling somebody up. Confidence and chesting. Nothing left. Oh, look at this. But what if he falls and trips? And what if I, what if I fall? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you the truth. When Justin Bieber first was introduced to everybody, I didn't like him. I think Usher. Perfect job going out and finding a, don't, hey, hey, don't be offended. A little white boy and prop him up there. It, it worked that way. Hold on. Put me on a pedestal. See, they're talking about pedestals. Okay. Now, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I thought it was a perfect idea because it was a stunt. Now, he can sing now. I didn't like him when he was a kid because it was bubble gum, but it was made for kids. So I didn't like it because it wasn't made for me. Okay. Now, what am I trying to say? Now that this young man has gotten old and he's matured, I give him a lot of credit. And this song right here, he's letting you know. Okay. He's letting you know I'm going to make mistakes. But what y'all think about me? I ain't that. I'm not a monster. I'm just a person. I like the song, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Monster. I give him, I, 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 I don't agree with everything in a man's life. That's his life. Go ahead and live your life, boy. Okay. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I don't interfere with people and their choices. They can make whatever choice they want. If they want to be this, if they want to be that, they can be this or be that. I did a video a couple of weeks ago talking about, uh, who was it, Elton John, and I only did that because Elton John came on my mix, and I talked about how he was trying to, it appeared that he was trying to put his lifestyle in people's face, because that's what the industry wants to promote. Well, what you guys don't understand, we had a situation at SACOM that involved such a situation. Well, I listened to it and I thought that individuals might be thinking I'd be talking about the situation that happened in SACOM, which was not a bad situation. It was something we were willing to accept, but the other person felt it would be too big of a distraction in their life. And so they left the organization. We were more than willing to say, we don't care. This is business. This is not lifestyle. We don't care about your private business. Keep your private business private. And there won't be no problem. I mean, literally, that was our conversation, ladies and gentlemen. But because I made the comment, as I tell people, they know I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses. They know that Jehovah doesn't play that. Go ahead. Well, Jehovah said that. La, 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 la. Please don't tell me what Jehovah accepts. He says what he will and will not accept. It's not according to what you think. Well, he's a God. La, la, la. You can say whatever you want. He says no. Okay, he doesn't say no, uh, but only only unless, no, he don't do that. They're, they're, he doesn't compromise, ladies and gentlemen. He is the same as he's always been. He's never changed. Now, doesn't he recognize that people are imperfect? Yes, he does. Doesn't he recognize that people are trying? Yes, he does. So stop making him out to be the acceptance God, because he doesn't accept it. He does recognize that there is an issue and that people are struggling with certain issues on this planet. But the fact is, he requires you to try to follow his lead. If you don't choose to follow his lead, then that's on you. Okay, that's the God I serve. Everybody wants to claim they serve the same God. No, you don't, because your God allows you to do whatever you want to do. My God doesn't let me do whatever I want to do. Why do you think I've been celibate for, man, going on almost 30 years now, people? 
because my God said no. And when I didn't listen to him, I had to suffer. Okay, that's my God. Now, did he cause the suffering? No, he allowed it. See, other than that, he takes care of me. See, my God, he's a rich God, and he takes care of me. I don't have to worry about nothing. That's why I tell people I don't take a, I take a salary, but I don't take a salary. I put my salary back into the organization. I donate it all back to the organization. Why? Because I don't need that. He gives me what I need. I promise you I have more than what I need, and I am so upset that I have more than what I need. Okay? I don't need. I have this computer, which I made sure I obtained before I was released because they destroyed my other computer. Well, at least that's what they claim, that they lost it, and that's a lie. So I have two computers. One is a backup. Why? Because you all know that I am remote. I can't do anything without a computer, and I'm not going to do it on a cell phone. Please. I have a phablet. Just in case there's a cell phone thing, I can use the phablet as a computer and a phone. That's on reserve. Technically, that's my television. Okay? My phablet, 10-inch, that's my television. But I don't use it for that because I don't have to. Okay? I literally use my cell phone. Now, my cell phone is made by a company called Ocutel. You may never have heard of Ocutel. O-U-K-I-T-E-L. Ocutel. They are rugged phones. The kind that you can drop and drop and drop and, and it lasts. Well, no, I didn't get the Ocutel for that. I got the Ocutel because the battery on my Ocutel lasts for a full week. I can talk on my phone all day for two straight days, nonstop, and only have to charge it at the end of that second day. If I'm talking nonstop, the reserve is almost two weeks. Okay? So that's why I have the Architel. Silver connection, y'all. And they're going to fly, Robin, fly. See what I'm saying? Up, up to the sky. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys this, because there have been other individuals who have done similar things to what I do, and they're flexing and riding around, hippity hopping and moving and bopping, and that's not me. This is seven days a week, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't had any breaks. I took a break uh, earlier this week. There were two days that, well, I think Saturday was one day that I didn't really do anything, and Sunday was a day that I kept and took and only did one thing on Sunday. Because I needed a break. As I mentioned, this is what I do all the time. And the benefit is there are people who are benefiting. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video, we're going to put it in the legal understanding, the very second document on the website. Okay? Now, we're going to put in a legal understanding, and let's do, we're going to add a folder. So... Sorry, that, that right there, dun, 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 dun. that's a 70s thing, and you'll hear that theme in so many, so many different movies and television shows. We're going to do H-U-D, okay? We're going to do HUD, because these are HUD forms. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to see something. I got to go here. This is going to be the videos. We don't care about no videos right now. We're going to go to Loads of Downing. Loads of Downing? Like Downing Street? No, just Loads of Downing. Okay, Affordable Housing Act. And... Let's do this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're putting these documents up now, and these are memos. Some of you who know about, um, how we say, some of you who know something about housing, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that's somebody calling from Google Voice, and they were sent to voicemail. 
I'll call them back in a second. But many of you who know about housing, what you don't know, and I was talking to a young man, his last name is Rice. Some of you know Mr. Rice. Mr. Rice and I were talking about the fact that there must be a purchase agreement. Well, we put the regulations for the purchase agreement that must be with each one of your homes. See, if you're purchasing a home, you must have a purchase agreement for the home. Now, you do have a purchase agreement between you and the seller. But what happens is if you take a look at your deed of trust, the deed of trust is on the record. But the actual deed to the property does not have your signature on it. The actual title of ownership to your property does not have a signature on it. Why is it that you have a county record showing that you own property, that you're the owner, and your signature is nowhere on the document? Okay, so Mr. Rice says that y'all need to be going down and doing an affidavit showing that you're the grantor, that you're the owner. Okay? And you'll see that such is the case, and even the HUD purchasing agreement requires that your signature be on the purchasing agreement. There is no purchasing agreement on the record, so technically you are not the owner of your own property. Shame on you! I mean, I'm just telling the truth, y'all. Literally just telling the truth. Some of y'all can't stand the truth. Okay, so you sit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I wanted to do with this video is I wanted to give you guys this information, let you know we were putting these documents up. I assure you, if you go through the documents and the codes, you will find a wealth of information. No, I'm not pointing out anything in particular because I hadn't had a chance to go over it, but I wanted to share the information with you. Okay? If you go back over that consult video I did the other day, just yesterday, then you will find that there is a ton of information telling you what you should do. I just did a video about doing a police report. If you, Some of you are going to be confused about the police report. All you got to do is sit back and think about what a police report is for. See? Instructions for purchase contracts, HUD memo, and guidance and opinion. Now, one of these things is going to say it's for historical purposes only because they changed it. But go ahead and see the way things were supposed to be. And then look at the changes that have been made and use that to your benefit. We even have another code that I looked at yesterday, a document that I downloaded yesterday. It's on here as well, where it tells you that it ain't going by what you think it should be going by. It tells you you have to know what the other codes and other laws say. That's where people like me come in because we've gone over other codes and laws, and that's what I'm trying to do to y'all, okay? You see this video right here is only 15 minutes long. Like this one's going to be 15 minutes long. And it's been uploading for over 10 minutes, and only 5% is uploaded. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to take over an hour for these two 15-minute videos to be uploaded because that's what Google has been doing to me. It's been slowing down the upload speed because its algorithm is going through every word of the video, making sure that I don't violate its policies. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. 13 minutes and 40 seconds. Isn't that a good thing? Hey, fly, Robin, fly! Got to go. Take care, y'all.